Hi all, and welcome. I am Gunnar Mills, a software engineer at IBM, working on the OpenBMC project. I'm a maintainer of five OpenBMC repositories, including the Web Interface Repository and the IBM lead on Redfish. Today, I'm going to talk about Redfish and OpenBMC. OpenBMC is a Linux distribution for baseboard management controllers, or BMCs. As of March 2018, OpenBMC is a Linux Foundation project, a lightweight and flexible project charter can be found on the OpenBMC website. OpenBMC is guided by a technical steering committee made up of six companies, ARM, Facebook, Google, Intel, IBM, and Microsoft. Underlying technologies for OpenBMC, Yocto project for a build and distribution framework, DBUS for inner process communication, and systemd for process management. Redfish is an open standard for managing hardware. Redfish is part of the DMTF, or Distributed Management Task Force. MCTP, a transport protocol, and PLDM, a messaging protocol are two other standards defined by the DMTF being used in OpenBMC. Redfish is supported by roughly 30 paying companies broke into two tiers. And it is who you would expect in system management. Some of the same companies working on OpenBMC are also working on Redfish. The Redfish group was created in 2014 with the first spec released in 2015. Redfish started focused on just server management, but has grown. You can now find schemas for fabric, host interface, storage, switch, PCIe devices, zones, Redfish is working with several partner organizations to further expand the spec. And Redfish was intended to meet the OCP remote machine management requirement and as a replacement for IPMI over LAN. IPMI over LAN is a 20 year old standard now. Redfish uses a modern toolchain. Uh, Redfish is a RESTful API. So it uses the CRUD operations from REST, uh, HTTP methods, POST for create, GET for read, PUT and PATCH for update, DELETE for delete. HTTPS, the web protocol, so encrypted using TLS. JSON with its modern language support. All of these are well known, widely used. System management can then be performed using the same skill set and tool chain as other IT tasks. Redfish believes don't invent anything new if robust solutions exist. Redfish can be used by apps. GUIs like the OpenBMC GUI, browser plugins, and scripts. And there's several open source tools already there for Redfish. Redfish tool, a command line tool for accessing a Redfish implementation. Redfish service validator for checking a Redfish implementation against the schema are just a few. A Python 3 example showing how simple it is to use Redfish. Five lines of code using built-in Python libraries, token-based authorization. This is the computer system resource printing the system model. And this wouldn't be much different than calling a Google Maps 
Twitter or Facebook.com API. Open VMC's Redfish implementation. BMC Web is Open BMC's web server. It's where support for Redfish is being added. The maintainers of BMC Web call it a do everything embedded web server. Besides Redfish, BMC Web enables virtual media and KVM via WebSocket. It for now exposes the Dbus interfaces to REST and BMC Web hosts the static files for the web interface. BMC Web uses Boost Beast, moving away from Crow. BMC Web replaces Phosphor REST Server, a Python based web server. By adding Redfish, OpenBMC is adding a translation layer between the Dbus layer and the user. This Redfish translation layer means changes to our Dbus interface do not impact users. This is the output of a Redfish service validator running against a recent OpenBMC master build. Our current master passes with no Redfish validator errors. The Redfish service validator is run against an IBM Power Systems Witherspoon system as part of continuous integration testing. OpenBMC releases. OpenBMC releases are every six months roughly following Yocto releases. Release 2.6 in February 2019 was our first community release as a Linux Foundation project. 2.7 was August 2019 and Redfish was a large part. Have a slide on that later. 2.8 is targeted for May 2020. We decided the Yocto release in October was too soon, so skipped a Yocto release there. Below is a picture of Brad Bishop tagging 2.7. With the 2.7 release from August, there was enough Redfish functionality for basic system management. Firmware, system inventory, event logging, network, power state management, multiple user management, SSL certificate web interface panel using the certificate schema from Redfish. This is merged and master. Since I'm the web interface maintainer, had to get some screenshots of it. 2.8 release scheduled for May 2020, targeted to have the following Redfish functionality, more advanced system management features here. Some of these are already merged into the master branch of OpenBMC. Uh, things like full sensor support, which allows us to move the web interface sensor panel to Redfish, full certificate management, LDAP, the task schema was recently merged. The new LDAP web interface panel using the LDAP Redfish schema. What is next for Redfish on OpenBMC? Today, the web interface and OpenBMC tool a command line tool for interacting with an OpenVMC implementation 
use a combination of the Dbus REST API and Redfish. OpenBMC will move away from exposing the Dbus interfaces as a REST API, so the GUI will move fully to Redfish. OpenBMC tool will most likely go away in favor of something like Redfish tool. OpenVMC will continue to upstream properties and new schemas to Redfish, and that's what the screenshots below show. On the left is a feature request from Andrew asking Redfish for a more detailed power state, and on the right from the OpenVMC mailing list responses to Rattan's Redfish dump proposal. Getting started with Redfish. The first link is the Redfish standard. This is where you can find all the Redfish documents. The second link is to the developer hub. The developer hub contains things like schemas and mockups. The first link in the third bullet is a link to the Redfish public forum. This is open to everyone. Here you can ask questions and request features. From the Redfish standard, the first link, you can request access to the Redfish members area if your company is one of the roughly 30 or so companies supporting Redfish. And this is how you would access the last link, which is a private GitHub repo. With access to this repo, you can open issues there, see new features being added, and contribute yourself. These are Redfish schemas accessible from the developer hub. And this is just a small set. Redfish has 80 plus schemas, 2,000 plus properties. Mockups are also accessible from the developer hub. This is a screenshot of the processor resource with the properties you would expect with a processor data model. Processor architecture, manufacturer, cores, threads, health. Getting started with OpenBMC. OpenBMC has a mailing list, which I would really recommend signing up for if you're interested in the project. A IRC channel, the documents repo with documents for getting started. The fourth link is to our Garrett code review. Go check it out jump in on some random reviews. Lastly, the website and our issue tracker. That's all, thank you very much. Oh, I think I have uh, 30 seconds to uh, answer a question or two. Um, there was a question in the chat about uh, the OpenBMC test suite results for each release. Uh, more information on the test suite results can be found on the OpenBMC mailing list. They should also be available on the OpenBMC uh, wiki for the release process. Uh, I know the 2.8 
uh, OpenBMC release will be uh, forked and uh, tagged in the coming weeks. Uh, there was also a question about OpenBMC continuing to use DBUS. Uh, OpenBMC will continue to use DBUS, but only uh, internally for inter-process communication. Um, OpenBMC will move away from exposing the DBUS interfaces as a uh, REST API. Uh, I think I'm out of time. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Uh, please feel free to reach out if you have any additional questions. Thanks.